All right guys, we're back from the gym. It was a pretty good leg workout. My knee felt pretty good. Um, so if you guys don't know, I've been having like hella knee problems lately with uh, my right knee. Five plates on the leg press moved pretty well. Would have been better if like I didn't have this pain, but um, I wanna go, I wanna throw some more weight on, but it's just like, I don't really wanna like make my knee worse, you know? So I always like hear people complain about like how they can't lose weight and shit. They're always like, I eat so much in a day, but I don't get any weight. And I used to be that way, like I used to say like, oh, I just can't gain weight. In reality, I just wasn't eating enough. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm a hard gainer. I only gain muscle and I can't gain fat and stuff, or they can't gain weight. I always hear people say that. They're like, I just gain muscle. They always say like, I just gain muscle. I don't, I don't get fat or something because I'm a hard gainer or whatever, whatever they say. I used to say that too. I mean, I am a hard gainer in a way. It all comes down to just how much you eat. And a lot of people just don't actually know how much they eat. They think they're eating way more than they are. Um, so you have to track obviously to know how much you're eating So if you think you're a hard gainer and you say oh, I'm not I can't gain weight and all you gain is muscle um, Either you're a beginner because you get the beginner gains and the beginner gains only last I think it's like six months and then you plateau if you don't start eating more or training harder So your number one thing should be to start tracking your food if you are a hard gainer and you're not gaining weight because that was the thing that I did and I always thought I couldn't like really gain a lot of weight. I also did a shit ton of cardio. Like I used to do cardio. Sometimes I did like 120 minutes of cardio a day. Not even like always on purpose, but like I played basketball. If you guys don't know that, I was like a big basketball guy. So I played basketball a lot. And then I'd also do like some stuff on the side, other cardio, like, I don't know, walking, running, shit like that. But yeah, if you aren't gaining weight, like just start tracking your food, make sure you're in a surplus. Um, 300 to like 500 is good and yeah, if you don't know how to find your maintenance calories, all you gotta do is go on TDEE -T -E calculator, just type it in online, and you just fill out the information, it tells you how many calories you burn in a day. Average, it's not really like super accurate, but it gives you like a rough estimate, and then you're gonna wanna eat more than that, so 300 to 500 more, and um, if you don't, if you aren't gaining weight, just you have to eat more. Like even if you're force feeding, even if you're not hungry, it's the only way it's gonna happen, so Quit saying you can't gain weight because you can. Yeah, that's something I fell victim to years ago, and I always thought like, oh, I'm just a hard game. Well, okay, so because I was playing basketball, that's why I was, I was just burning hella calories, so like I had to eat more. I just didn't want to like eat more because like, I don't know, I just wasn't super hungry. And then I got into like fitness and like bodybuilding type shit. I was like a lot more hungry because I was training harder, training more, and then I was like, fuck, I want to eat more. But I um, still did the cardio. So I was just burning more calories, but now we're on track, now we're getting weight. Yeah, that was just like some advice I wanted to give for the younger people out there that don't know that. All right guys, I gotta work on some homework and I'm gonna play some Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll show you guys the dinner I'm she's making. And then you'll see me in the morning. This is what we got. Uh, looks like sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, and then this breaded ass chicken. I just wanna show y'all, cause this, Kate did, Kate did an amazing job on this. That's going to be the dinner. Guys, don't be afraid. Rest a little bit and kind of like let your mind like recoup from the week. Like it's Sunday right now as I'm recording this. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna edit a couple things, work, finish whatever homework I have because I'm almost done with the semester of school. All right guys, good morning. Yeah, I'm still asleep, but it's ring pop. But yeah, I'm gonna go hit 35 minutes of cardio. I'm still sticking to cardio even though I'm on the bulk because I don't wanna get too fluffy. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright guys, so this is post cardio. We got we have five eggs, some turkey, sausage, and then a bagel with low fat cream cheese. Um I would say this is probably 600 calories. Yeah, this is like an ideal breakfast if you're bulking. Try and put on weight. You wanna to stick to like the whole foods, like actual eggs, not egg whites, and everything bagel um, with the low fat cream cheese. And then yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. If you guys don't know about the Meyer sushi, bro, you guys are missing out. I don't know if it's real sushi. Um, they like roll it though right there at like the counter and shit. Yeah, it's really good. I usually get this living color roll, it's salmon, shrimp, tuna, raw. It's not cooked, you know, I do everything raw. If you know what I'm saying? This is gonna be like the pre-workout meal-ish. We're gonna go hit some chest. So I'm gonna go hit some chest by myself. I may hit a little bit of tries tonight. I'm trying to put my focus onto my arms 
for this bulk because my arms are small as fuck. Oh my god, bro. They put it in the wasabi. If y'all ever had wasabi, this shit like burns. If you like wasabi, bro, you gotta be like Japanese or something. Alright, I'll see you guys in when I get ready to go to the gym. Alright guys, so taking one scoop of creatine. I take creatine daily, but and then we have superhuman pump. I'm going to do one scoop just because this has hella beta alanine in it. And I don't like mixing it with the game day because it's just too much beta alanine for me and I get too itchy. So and then one scoop of game day, pink lemonade, code Merrick. Alright. Half scoop because it's already 5.30. I have to go play basketball at 7.30, but um, most of my chest and stuff is pretty, it's like an hour, so. It's a Monday night. If you guys know anything about Monday nights, gym's usually f***ing busy. I want to talk to you guys to the workout, but I can already see everyone's crowding the Got the dumbbells and stuff. So I was I was thinking about going on to the other gym I go to, which is Coops. And it's an hour from here, but I have basketball tonight, so I didn't really want to do that. But yeah, we're gonna do what we can, get it in, no matter what. Honestly though, if you got a big gym, like it's dope because you have like much people that are like in there to get better, you know, and everyone's there for the same reason, just you know, to get better. But when it's a small gym and people are on things or and they're on it for like 30, 40 minutes, it's it's pretty annoying. About to get real itchy in his jaw. All right. Alright y'all, we are done with the workout. There was just too many people and I just wanted to like do the workout and then explain to you guys like the workout after because I don't know, it just sounds like a better idea than trying to talk while I'm working out with all those people and stuff. My chest is feeling a little sore so I hit some movements that I thought would feel good. Um, couldn't get to the first, I wanted to hit incline Smith but there was somebody on the Smith for the whole time I was there. I only got to do, my back falling, I only got to do incline barbell which I don't like barbell. If you guys know me, you know I don't like barbell pressing because I'm just not good at it. So I'm actually a lot better with dumbbells. I can I can dumbbell more than I can barbell incline. So I, I'd rather do that, but um, all the benches were taken. So then I ended up going to the one of the machines and doing some tech deck presses instead of pec deck flies, they're more like a press. And then I did cable raises. I stayed away from any pressing movements on my shoulders because I've been doing so much pressing with like my chest. I just wanted to do work on like the lateral raises some rear delts, some front raises, just shit like that. I didn't want to do any pressing for the shoulders. Give them a little bit of a break. I gotta get wider shoulders, they're just not very wide. So going heavier on lateral raises, especially the cables where I can get all the tension onto the shoulder. I just finished with a little bit of triceps. Sorry guys, my SD card got filled up. So yeah, we finished with triceps just a little bit. They were sore from yesterday. I gotta go to basketball because it is 7:30. I hope you guys love the videos. I try to put as much effort and quality as I can into these. So like, I'm not like the. F okay, I think I'm pretty funny, but I'm not like I like talking, but I'm just like a lot of my content is like more like fitness and stuff. So it's not a lot of like me showing my personality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one because I like did a little bit more talking and stuff. Yeah, I just want to be real with you guys. This is where I can get personal with y'all and um, connect. So if you are here from Instagram or even TikTok, appreciate you your real one. I was having some body dysmorphia issues last night and I was just like in my head because I felt like I looked like shit, which is arguably maybe true. But, and then in, in the gym today, I, I looked, I thought I looked pretty good. So, you know, you're gonna have those up and down battles. Just keep pushing on, keep pushing towards your goal. 
of whatever it is, you know, um, there's always days where you're gonna feel down, feel shitty, not feel like yourself, but you have to just keep pushing. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep doing with this bulk. We are gonna get to 175. I noticed I'm getting a little fluffy, more fluffy than I'd like right now. So I um, added in a little more cardio this morning when I did, um, I was doing 30 minutes up to, to like 40. I'm going to be doing probably 35, 40 minutes cardio every morning just to keep in that range so I'm not like, you know, getting fat. Plus I'm gonna go hoop tonight, so I guess it didn't really matter if I did extra cardio. But yeah, keep pushing, keep going. I love all y'all, support me, watch these videos. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.